Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss array representation and memory consumption in data structure. A two-dimensional array m into n array has m n elements. Determine the amount of memory used when these m n elements are stored using a two-dimensional C++ array and when they are stored in one-dimensional array using row major mapping. Assume that the elements are type of integer. First do this problem for n equal to 2 and m equal to 10 and then go for general m and n. Suppose we take one dimensional array which contains five elements in array. As we know to store the array elements in contiguous form, increment of start pointer is needed. For example, location of xi is start address of array plus ith element. This start pointer points to first element and also store the address of the first array element. Now see the two dimensional array representation in C++. The elements of two dimensional array are declared as integer a 10 to where m equal to 10 which denotes number of rows in array and n equal to 2 that represents the number of columns. This is given in our exercise. The storage of elements in two dimensional array shown in figure. Let's see two dimensional array of representation in 1D in C++. See in figure 1. 10 pointer is used for 10 rows when we convert this in one dimensional array using row measure. Then all row will store in one dimensional array which creates 10 separate one dimensional array. Now we will see how calculate memory for each two dimensional and one dimensional array. C++ use the array of arrays representation. First take two dimensional array. When m equal to 10 and n equal to 2, we have one one dimensional array of size 10. The element of this array are C++ pointers and 10 di one dimensional array of size 2. The element of these arrays are integers. So the total space is 120 bytes. Now take one dimensional array. When a single one dimensional array is used, that is when the elements are mapped using row major order. Then there is 10 columns and each has 2 elements. So total space 10 into 2 into 4 equal to 80 bytes. For general, if we take m rows and n columns, for array of array representation requires 1 into m into 4 plus m into n into 4 equal to 4 mn plus 4 m bytes and for one dimensional mapping takes m into n into 4 equal to 4 m bytes. Thanks to all.